Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Officially Miss Boss. In today's video, I'm going to show you all how to make a vision board digitally using PowerPoint. Step one is to find pictures that represent your goals for this year. I compiled mine on Pinterest, but you can find pictures on Google and compile them that way. Once you've found the pictures that you want and you've compiled them either on Pinterest or a folder on your computer, you can go ahead and copy and paste them into a PowerPoint slide. Feel free to crop your pictures so that only the words or images that you desire are displayed. Be advised that this does take some time, especially if you have more than one picture representing a goal. I finished cropping my pictures and putting them on my PowerPoint slide. However, I forgot to find an image to represent the year 2020, and so I'm looking for one now. My preference is to put the 2020 title in the center, but feel free to put it wherever. The next step is to arrange the pictures so that they either make sense group together or visually look good together. I duplicated the first slide I created so that I could copy and cut the pictures from the second slide to my final vision board slide without accidentally losing any pictures. Go ahead and adjust the pictures so that they look how you want them to. Bring some pictures forward or backward to fit better together. You can do this by right clicking on a picture and then going down to bring to front or send to back and then either to bring to front, bring forward or send to back, send backward. When you think you're done, go ahead and save the PowerPoint file and hit full screen or present in PowerPoint to see the full slide in its full form. Adjust any pictures again if you notice anything that you don't like such as excess white space or maybe a certain image covering a certain part of another image that you don't really care for. This is your time to see it full screen and then go back and make the necessary changes. After you're done with all of that, you can click file and then export to save your PowerPoint slide as a PDF. Once saved, you can open the PDF and view your PowerPoint slide. I forgot to delete the other two slides, so I have a PDF with all three slides for my PowerPoint. None are pictures, and so to save your slide as a picture, hit File and then Export As and click Image and then JPEG. And it will save your slide or slides as a JPEG image file. My final vision board was the third slide, so I opened the JPEG file that had a three at the end.
This is how my vision board turned out as an image. Last, I'm going to show you how to make your digital vision board the background for your computer desktop. You want to hit System Preferences and then to Desktop and Screensaver and then find the image you just created from the folders on the side using the plus button. And that should be it. Make sure you select the desktop and to stretch to fill screen to make sure it looks how you want it. And that is all. Your vision board is now saved as the desktop background. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give me a big thumbs up and comment any questions you may have down below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos by me and I'll see you in my next video.